by February 1961, first flight trials on 0.6 scale missiles were being conducted at Woomera to prove aerodynamics, flight characteristics, components and design studies. Meanwhile, proving tests on the torpedo release system and parachutes were carried out in the wind tunnel. Static drops by helicopter. in flight drops from a jet aircraft. Solid propellant motors were developed and test fired. In our flying laboratory, guidance tests were stepped up. At the Australian Army proof range at Port Wakefield, trials are underway to determine the extent of the damage caused to the Icara ship's magazine should the rocket motor of the missile be ignited by enemy action. The tests show that suitable arrangements can be made to reduce the damage to the ship's magazine. December 1961, the first full-scale unguided missile was fired at Woomera to prove the launcher, telemetry, blast effect and components. Shipboard firings then started. We were now ready for full guidance flights. By April 1963, all was ready at Woomera. The tracking receiver aerial. The transmitter aerial. Computer. Telemetry. The launch was successful and it was evident that the missile was obeying the transmitted commands.
the torpedo parachuted away from its carrier and landed in the target area. The missile parachute operated successfully. The flotation bag can be observed inflated above the parachute. Further firings confirmed the system capability. Aboard Stuart, all is ready for the sea trials. Tracker aerial, transmitter aerial, the launcher. Target instrumentation has been set up on this island. Stuart moves to her firing position. The missiles are away. Trials are brought to a successful conclusion.